G'day there, folks. This is Daryl Pro with Vanilla Soft, and I'm sitting here with Matthew Pollard. I guess technically I'm not sitting, I'm standing, but you get the idea. So, I'm at the AISP Leadership Summit, and you get a lot of really smart people, but you only get one Matthew Pollard. So, good day. <laughs> good day, mate. How are you? <laughs> I got the good day in there. I'm glad you got it. <laughs> We were having this whole conversation about how do you start a video conversation. So anyway, um, I wanted to hit you up because what I love about what you're doing is it resonates with me, and I suspect it resonates with about maybe half the population, but you'll correct me. I, despite what people might think, I'm an introvert. It actually doesn't surprise me because you're very thought out about everything that you do. You're actually a pretty big planner. So one of the things that I think a lot of people kind of wonder, especially in the sales field, is am I an introvert? Am I an extrovert? I'm not sure. And it really comes down to where you draw your energy from. Like for me, I mean, we were just talking. You did four keynotes the other day. I just did three yesterday. I wanted to go back to the room. I put on a hoodie. I just relaxed in front of the TV and I needed to read. And today, you know, I'm just exhausted. Yeah. Yet, a lot of people will just be energized by that. And I think that's the biggest difference. It's not that we can't speak. It's not that we can't sell. The difference is that afterwards, we're spent. We need to go and generate our t energy somewhere else. So my, my wife has this expression when she sees me uh, in this situation. She'll look at me and she'll go, did you people too much? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I peopled too much. And I, and I do that. I need to go somewhere quiet and crash, usually in front of the television, just to kind of tune out, tune off. And then I come back and I'm okay. But the question I guess I have for you is, if you're in the sales profession and you are an introvert, does that mean you're doomed to not do well? It actually means you have a pretty significant advantage. And I know that's a pretty <laughs> kind of, yeah, exactly. I mean, I think that the, the biggest hurdle for people that are, that are introverted is they think they can't sell because they don't have this thing called the gift of gab. And then they are also out of energy after a while of selling but you've got to look at the amount of advantages that we have. I mean, we are amazing active listeners. So we will have these deep and meaningful conversations. And you know, there was, there was all these studies about how introverts create these deep and fulfilling relationships with people that they meet. So while we may not meet as many people, the relationships that we have are much deeper. And because of that, especially these days in, in the world of social media, People are willing to introduce us. They get willing to connect us because they trust us. And that's a big difference. So one of the things that I love about introverts is, you know, we all kind of are completely open about the fact we kind of suck at selling at the start, but we gravitate to systems. We gravitate to process. And one of the things that I highlight is the average bulldog salesperson, the extrovert that can just sell today and, you know, they've got that gift of gab. Well, that's great, but their ability to sell is based on their mood. So they have a bad sales day, their sales plummet. They have a good sales day, well, tomorrow's great. So if I was going to have a sales team, or if I was gonna be in sales, I would wanna be able to guarantee my results day after day. And the only way you do that is by having a systematic process. And this isn't new stuff. I mean, Brian Tracy said the top 10% of all sales performers had a planned presentation. The bottom 80% just say whatever comes out of their mouth. That's introverts and extroverts, but the difference is an extrovert is more likely to go, yeah, but I, I like to just go, you know, fly by the hip. And an introvert will say, oh, I, I can't sell. But as soon as they realize they can, wow, it makes a difference. All of a sudden, they have planned conversations. And day after day, they get gradually and gradually better. And then eventually, they'll beat the extrovert hands down. So it's funny because years ago when I had my own, and I've, I've had taken all the various tests multiple times, but I had one individual say to me, she was fantastic, because I was leading a, a marketing team. And it came back that I was an introvert and they were like, no way, right? And she was like, no, no, Daryl is an interesting cat. He's an introvert who's learned to be an extrovert whilst doing his job. He's still an introvert. He still has to go power up in private and everything else, but he's adapted to the job. Do you see that happen often? See, one of the things I find is that, I mean, these days everybody has, maybe I'm an ambivert. Oh, I'm a learned extrovert. No, you're an introvert. What you've learned is skill sets to behave, and I wouldn't even call it off, I would say that it's conceived as an extroverted arena, but in truth, you've made it your own. You know, the way you and I have had conversations leading up to, to this meeting, you know, the, the way you have conversations, the way you think things through, what you've actually done is you've looked at all of the elements that make you intuitively good at the act of selling. And then what you've done is you've worked out strategies to, to, overcomp to compensate for the rest. Now, one of the things that's really important to learn is both introverts and extroverts have skills gaps. The difference is an extrovert, you know, maybe they're not that great at listening. You know, active yeah, listening exactly. is, is their hurdle. Yeah. And the difference is, though, is they'll go away and they'll do courses and programs, well, at least the smart ones, to learn how to fill that gap. The average introvert 
thinks that if they learn to sell, oh, maybe they're becoming more extroverted. Maybe they're, you know, they've learned extroverted behaviors. It's not the case. What they've learned, the ones that are good at it anyway, because forcing yourself to be extroverted is inauthentic. It's incongruent with us introverts. And eventually, you know, we're just going to collapse. But by learning how to use your introverted skills and use those as an advantage and then systemize out to fill the skill gaps of the things that we don't have, we can be absolute superpowers in the sales arena. So let me give an example of what I've done in that front. And then and you alluded to it is I've learned because instead of me talking, I'm an introvert, I ask a lot of questions. So Matthew, tell me about your company. And he does this, right? Really, can you drill down a bit on that? So what does that mean? So how does that impact you? I'm asking short questions and then I'm just listening. And then he's gonna give me a lot of stuff I need to then you know, connect the dots and do some solution selling. That's how I do it. Absolutely, I mean, one of the, the biggest things that people forget to do is ask great questions. And one of the things I find, you know, extroverts will be asking questions so they can get to the telling. Yes. So can you stop answering that question now? I know what to say, yes. shush, 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 let me yeah. talk. An introvert will say, okay, well, based on that, I have another question, I have a follow-up question. And as I said, they get deeper and deeper into the conversation. Right. And now I know you better than sometimes you know yourself because if I'm, especially if I'm smart, I know my niche really well. So I've started to understand my demographic and now I'm attaching what I know about your industry to your specific answers to the questions. Now, the other thing that introverts do amazingly well, which is what my keynote presentation was about yesterday, is they tell really great stories. And once they've planned them, instead of getting stuck in their head trying to work out what it is that they need to tell the client, what they need to be doing is asking great questions. And then once they, once they get to the end of those questions and they understand that person well, then looking in their story Rolodex of planned and prepared stories yes. so that they can then share a story of a customer just like them that had a similar objection or had a similar problem and how they worked with them to make a significant shift in their business and the success that, that they had with that. But again, a lot of introverts don't prepare their stories because they're trying to be authentic and they're worried about sounding scripted but in truth your favorite actor on tv is scripted the difference is instead of just reading it off a script they've learned it they've embodied it i mean it's their stories anyway so it's not difficult like an actor's got to become somebody else but an introvert with a load of prepared stories that's asked great questions to make sure their story really hits home they, they just have such an advantage over their extroverted competition so it's funny you say that because i do a lot of storytelling i know i do and i know my next conversation, I'll tell a story about when I was hanging out with Matthew talking about introverts and that will become a story. I and mean, it leads to a destination every single time because I'm trying to make a point. But what I like as an introvert about storytelling is that it's comfortable because I know the story. It's not unknown. It's not unfamiliar. It's safe. And I and I can and it allows me to bridge, you know, from where I am to where I want to get. So I use that as a tool. Now, that's me. This is Matthew. He's the rock star when it comes to all things, you know, his, his big thing is about being an introvert in sales because you're a best-selling author, you're a coach, you're a trainer, you're, you're a rock star, and you've got, of course, your own business as well. If they want to learn more about you and how they can leverage your skills, get your book, all that wonderful stuff, what do they do? Absolutely. Well, and thank you for asking. I think one of the things my publisher hates me saying is you don't need to buy my book. If people just go to theintrovertsedge.com, they can actually download the first chapter of my book completely for free. And well, I know a lot of authors put a lot of fluff in that to sell the rest of the book, because I'm so focused, I mean, I founded National Introverts Week just to really bring a discussion point around the stigma around introversion. So if people just download the first chapter of the book and they look at the seven steps, if they do nothing more than just write down those seven steps, look at what they currently say and try and fit that into those seven steps. Now, if it doesn't fit, I mean, you shouldn't be saying that to clients. So don't put that in. Look for where your gaps are and the gaps are going to be around great, asking great questions and telling great story. So once you fill those gaps, I mean, it'll take you about 60 days to double your sales. It's really not that tough. And for the introverts out there that are really thinking that being second best in sales is okay because they're introverted, the truth is you can be the number one performer in your organization. And I mean, I went from terrified to sell to teaching hundreds how to do it in a period of just, you know, just six weeks. It doesn't take long, but it does take dedicated effort. So I challenge you to make the change in your sales process. So he says it takes a dedicated effort. I'm saying He's dangled the carrot of doubling your sales in 60 days. How much more incentive do you need? I think that's worth a small little investment. If you want to learn more about Matthew, follow him on LinkedIn. He's quite prolific. But theintrovertsedge.com. 
TheIntroversEdge.com. Yes, got it right. All right. I'm Daryl Proud. I'm with Vanilla Sop. I'm here with Matthew Pollard. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.